Mark, thank you very much for making time today to speak with me at this event. Um, I've got a couple of questions just about your position in the field. And the first one is, how did you enter this? How did you enter open source law? Well, it's kind of a funny story, frankly, because it was 2001, and I got a call from a friend of mine who said there was a startup that was going to get funded, and oh, by the way, they used an open source model. That was Sugar CRM. At that time, I didn't know very much about open source. And the idea that they were going to get funded uh, seemed to me to make this a good potential client. Uh, on the other hand, I was skeptical about the open source model because I didn't understand how can we make money, particularly the type of money that venture capitalists want, um, from software that is free. Uh, so I started out as a skeptic, frankly, and, and, but then over time I was won over and a couple years later I started as the general counsel of the Open Source Initiative. This was back a long, long time ago when there was a lot more friction in the community among the various um, organizations, uh, but uh, Karen Copenhaver of then um, the OSDL reached out to me and you know we started working together and I think that collaboration has been uh, very effective for the community over the last 15 years. And in, in that 15 years, what's been the most interesting or the biggest development around open source law that you've observed, do you think? Well, I think the biggest development has been the acceptance of open source as a very um, standard type of software development. When I started out, open source was, you know, evil, and you had to be very careful. There were a very limited number of venture capitalists who would fund open source companies. Uh, there were companies, large companies, who were working who said, no, we don't use any open source. And so it's gone from, we don't use any open source to, we'll think about it, to now it's like, oh yeah, we use open source all the time. With some few limitations, we'll say, no, we don't use open source, but that's generally because they don't understand what their programmers are doing. That's a very good point. Uh, I remember someone telling me that about 95% of companies say that they're using open source, and 5% say they're not, but they are when you, when you check through the code base. Well, in all the time I've been doing this, I've done literally um, hundreds of venture capital transactions and many, many mergers where I get involved on the due diligence. Uh, I have seen only one company in that entire period who said they didn't use open source and followed through. And that was a case of there was a CTO and there were two programmers. One sat on his left, one sat on his right, and there truly was no open source not <laughs>